Hi, Julie here. And questions are coming up about Skype history. How much you can see? Are they limiting us to 30 days or 90 days? Or what are they limiting us to in, in current Skype? So um, the question came up again, and I just happened to be in my, let's see if this will show, my 6.2.0 which is difficult to get into, but I do know how to do that. I have a training for that. Um, has the benefit of um, the full power of Skype room creation and moderation. Anyways, I'm in this, and um, I see in one of my old older Skype rooms, it has many years of history, my see you on Skype private member room, that down at the bottom, they, they did have this at the top of chats in older versions, and now it is still at the top of the chat, but looks very different in Skype 7, um, and even in late 6 versions of Skype. But I happen to be in here showing, showing off one of the things you can do, which is editing um, as a creator or moderator of a Skype room. You can edit with, with this old version of Skype. And I was showing how you can help your members control the the wall of text to split it up by hitting, hitting shift and enter. Anyways, the question came up about how you can get to your old Skype history now, and you can. Um, it, I've shift, been shifting back and forth in this same Skype account um, between current and um, any old version of Skype that is one of my favorites that I've saved and set up. Um, very quickly in in you know a couple a minute or less sometimes you can switch back and forth to whatever you want so I switched from 7.1 version of Skype to the 6.2 and I can see I can get from the beginning now watch this goes all the back all the way back to 2008 see that <laughs> 2008 isn't that amazing um, so you can do that so what I want to do and of course this is great for search We'll search for Julie. There it is. So searching a chat, another really handy thing to, to be able to do. Any word or phrase or even, what URL was that? <laughs> About YouTube, which could be .be, don't forget. Um, so you can search for anything you want in your chat history. Don't get rid of your chat history. It is full of valuable keywords that people are using that you can use to re-engage your, your contacts in Skype, re-engage re your customers, your prospects, etc., your clients and partners, all the amazing types of people you can have in Skype. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll switch back to a current version of Skype. It'll just take me a moment. And um, to do that, I will go down and uh, get out of this version of Skype and um, just go ahead. I like to use this tool for switching. It's not G Recorder, that's an ad. It's Multi Skype Launcher, and I'm going to switch back to current because of the way that I have Multi Skype Launcher set up. Uh, this tool is I use this for switching versions, but it's designed to switch Skype accounts. So it's just a real quick way to uh, get your Skype running. So again, pretty quick to switch. <laughs> That's my, with even me talking to you and explaining stuff. Um, 7.1. I'm in current. It's that fast to switch back and forth. And if I go down to my See You on Skype members private VIP room, um, you see that the down at the bottom there is no um, it doesn't have the same you know I forget what it said now <laughs> beginning you know uh, yesterday seven days thirty days links to go back to go back to messages from see messages from it said something like that and you can click beginning all the way up to a year or um, uh, beginning all, all the way down to last week or the last 30 days, last 60 days, 90 days, whatever, six months. So that function, that feature has been moved up to the top. If you click today, for some reason it says Monday, probably because I haven't typed in here since Monday, it would say today if it has 
chat in there today. But whatever this says, today or whatever day of the week it is, you click this and you should be able, now this, <laughs> this is even different than the last version of 7, 7.0. Um, or maybe it decide, depends on the size of your window. I've got this fit in, um, let's, ex you know, let's, like they want to make it mobile friendly. That's what the whole move to the cloud is about. So if I make this bigger, um, yeah, it looks different. <laughs> so the mobile or smaller version, I am not on mobile, <laughs> but the mobile friendly version would look like this if your window is small enough. And you go, of course, I'm resizing the shape of my, my Skype window. You can do that on a PC. So no matter what it looks like, like this or like this, okay, you can always go back to the beginning and it will take you back. How far will it take you back? Okay, now, isn't this interesting? I'm actually, let me resize this. I am resizing this and showing you that you could, another way to go back in history is this up arrow over here in the upper right. If you click this, sometimes you can go back further in history. In older versions of Skype, you could see it changes the date and it will show chats that are further back. Well, this is as far back in this same Skype room that has been around since 2008. Um, this same Skype room uh, in this version of Skype, current version of Skype, only goes back a year. Is that a year? Yeah. Well, it's the beginning of March, so it goes back, um, yeah, I guess it, they've segmented it by month because next month is April. So this only goes back a month. And maybe I had no content in March. Yeah, May, April. I don't know. Anyway, so let's switch back again. and Let's see how fast it takes for me to switch back. It's pretty fast. It's a little bit longer to go downhill to older versions. But now I'm not going to use this, although I could, depending on how this tool is set up. I'm going to reach over, over to my other monitor and drag over a desktop shortcut for 6.2. I double click it, run, just takes a moment. There it is. It's loading. It's reorganizing. This takes just a moment, depending on the the power of your internet and your computer, it's pretty fast. It's not as instant as going up as going down, but you'll see this This is not too bad. This going around in circle is automatically signing you in rather than throwing an error in your face, which this version will because it's a quote unquote retired version of Skype as of August 2014, last year. and. Um, it's just reorganizing the files and folders. Now, I've already done this and proved it to myself, but I want you to see this in the video. Ta-da! From beginning, same exact room, goes back to 2008. So the history is there, and frankly, I would back it up. You know, so that's something you can learn to do. You can back it up and move it around inside your computer if you know where it is. And you can have it on an external drive so that you can move it between computers and not lose it if you have a hard drive crash. So those are some very powerful Skype tips done in, what are we, nine minutes into this video? So I encourage you to visit CUOnSkype.com and uh, get in there. Become a member. Join if you haven't. Let me give you access to me and my knowledge about how Skype can grow your business and how I can get you from newbie to power user on Skype without taking a lot of your time. So um, that's what we do on See You on Skype, is I teach you all the way from being a beginner to being a power user on Skype um, with Skype rooms, Skype marketing and networking and tools, and helping you be safe on Skype and answering your questions, giving you Skype tips with every question that you have. I give, give you a visual step-by-step -step answer to your questions. That's Skype tips. See you on Skype. Bye for now.